Hey guys, this is Godzilla Tommy. I'm sorry I haven't made any videos recently. I've been very, very busy. Um, I bought something off Amazon for $16.99, and of course, you know, I have that free two-day shipping with Amazon Prime. It's one of the best things I've ever gotten, actually. I mean, $10 a month, I get free two-day shipping. It's pretty cool. Um, I bought this Tuesday night, I think? And somehow I got, I mean, I got it today, but if I would have got one-day shipping, I still would have got it today. So it's like, what? Anyways, um... By the time you read the title, you already know what it is. So, yeah, I bought Ghostbusters. I know that Ghostbusters came out, like, last year or 2008. I forgot. It was last year. And um, I know that. But when I bought it, I bought it for the 360. And I really didn't like the online. So I decided to give it a second chance. And um, my friend picked it up for PS3. So I was just like, you know what? It's cheap. I don't have many games, really. So I was just like, why not? I bought it used like new. And... It shrink wrapped. I was like, "What?" I opened this already before because I didn't think it was gonna be like shrink wrapped. So I was just like, "All right, I'll just open it and then I'll just, you know, like, do something later." But no, it's actually open. All right, what does it say on PlayStation Network here? Well, I'm trying to let me get started and I'll read you some of the back. Oh wow! Yeah, th this is the fun part of my unboxing because I struggle really badly. Normally, I can just see, can you see this edge right here? If I can't, my camera doesn't really do it well. Anyways, there's an edge right there that you usually you're able to take your finger and peel at it. And it'll eventually come undone. Well, they changed that. Let's see if I can use something here. Xbox 360 mic cord, huh? I'm sorry guys, I probably should have unwrapped it first. If I was an editor, this wouldn't be so bad because I could just edit this part out. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, um... I have absolutely like no money. I'm gonna be training in my my last Xbox games, except for Modern Warfare 2, and one of my PS3 games. And I'm going to put all that down on a reservation. I think it's gonna be Resident Evil 5, the Gold Edition, because I want I want Final Fantasy, but it's just too kind of time consuming of a game right now. Like um, Phantom Death said, it's too time consuming of a game. And when I'm bored as fuck, and multiplayer games aren't doing it for me anymore. And I need a single player game, I'll um, buy that. Like if my Xbox Live runs out or we lose internet for a while, something like that. This is definitely not factory sealed. <laughs> that shit is a lot harder. So, um, I don't know if I said, but I'm hoping the next thing I'm going to be buying is, um, yes. The next thing I'm hoping to buy is the Dragon Box. Because I sold my orange bricks to a friend of mine. And even though, like, I really didn't care. Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't mind the, uh, the, um, I didn't mind the, uh, widescreen. Everyone says that the widescreen cut it off. Usually I don't mind widescreen, so that doesn't really matter to me, the whole... Everyone, you know, bitching about widescreen saying, oh, widescreen ruined it, and eh. You know, all the or hardcore Dragon Ball Z fans. What I like about this is it comes in a really, really cool package. Um, you know, it has, you know, more episodes. Just like three more, I guess that doesn't matter much. But it comes in a nice little collectible packaging and shit. That, that's kind of nice. Okay, so here, this is the disc. This is something that I got in it. Ghostbusters on Blu-ray. I think about picking it up. I don't know. I have to think about it. What does this say? Get more now. Here's the instruction manual. Skim through here. This
I'm also hoping to pick up Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Raging Blast for PS3. Um, I was gonna get it for 360, but um, I have a bunch of I have you know I have like three or four friends that already have it for 360, but um, I just I kind of want to get it for PS3. Cause PS3 is what I'm really playing recently. I don't know why, but um, I've been playing PS3 a lot recently. I haven't played Modern Warfare 2 in a couple of days, which isn't a surprise because that game is broken as fuck. Oh god, the Modern Warfare 2 with fanboys are gonna invade me. Oh shit. Run! So, yep, this is Ghostbusters unboxing. Um, I was kind of glad when I bought this. When I bought this, I actually canceled it as soon as I bought it, and then I bought it again, because I was like, you know what? I like the story mode for Ghostbusters. It was very fun. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm gonna try to give the online, um, a chance again. And look at that. Can you see that? It says required hard disk space at least four gigabytes. I'm gonna have to shoot somebody because I have like 13 gigs. I mean, I still have enough, but not nah, damn. But um, the game I will be selling is Metal Gear Solid 4, and um, he has Metal Gear Solid 4. I mean, I'm not I'm not the stealth type. If anything, if I want to play Metal Gear Solid 4, I'm gonna go around shooting people with a fucking silencer every damn minute. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, God's Little Tommy unboxing Ghostbusters. Um, I might be buying some of the Naruto DVDs soon. I'm kind of waiting for a release date on, on, on Kabaxa 2, since I don't have DVDs 4, 5, or 6. Well, 6 isn't even out yet, but I don't have 4 or 5. And I'm sorry about my dog, my other dog's walking downstairs. She's in a kennel. She don't like that. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later.